got a typical problem here. It's uh, in the winter time. We got a. Um, it's like temperature up here is 15, 16 degrees in the, in the sunlight, 14 degrees in the sunlight. What's happening is the uh, refrigerant gas is it's so cold up here that the gas is compressing and it's not building up enough pressure to kick the pressure control in. Now, let's see if I can put this somewhere where you can see it. Keep from shorting this out. You see I have uh, an open pressure control and the pressure is at 18 pounds pressure. It's not expanding enough to kick in. It probably is it's set for 20 pounds kick in, so it's just almost making it, but not quite enough. Now, if I, if I mechanically trip this, this should come on. Let's see, it just almost was getting there, but not quite enough. So I'll show you what we're gonna do. I installed this. It's a heater. It's a crankcase type heater with a thermostat in it. And I had to use this big four foot long wire tie. And now I have to insulate this tank. This had insulation on it years ago, but I guess the weather got to it. So I'm gonna install the this on it. Probably double the sun. What I did was I put a temperature control on to sense the outside temperature. And I put a small crankcase heater on the receiver tank. And the crankcase heater is a small one with the thermostat in it. And it warms up the liquid. And if it gets too warm, the thermostat will open up so that the liquid won't back up into the condenser into the head of the compressor. But this will sense the air temperature. If it gets too cold, it will uh, make contact and turn the heater on. And when it gets warm out, it'll break contact and shut the little heater off. And this is, now the compressor's running. It warmed up the refrigerant enough so it expanded just enough to kick in the, the fresh frost. She should start pumping down for us. It's pretty cold up here. My hands are freezing. Okay, she's pumping down now. down. Let's see what it shuts out at. Okay, cut out at zero pounds pressure. That's good. Now there's some residual ga gas in the line expanding and the pressure, it might kick on again if it gets up high enough. 
You can hear the old timer motor making noise. should kick in. It's just, it's pumped down now. It's on the frost. But the, uh, the pressure in the lines that it, it's just building up slowly. If it gets to 20 pounds pressure, she'll kick in, pump the gas out of it, and then stay off. But it's just residual gas in the line. It's up to 18 pounds. It's not too bad. Okay, it's off on the frost. I'm going to take it off now. And this should should hit 20 pounds pressure because the heater's on. It gets so cold that the refrigerant just contracts. Yeah, it just needs a little bit of. Normally it's warm, and it's, the refrigerant's ex expanded enough. Let's see where it kicks in at. off the frost, let some gas go through the solenoid valve, and I put it back on the frost so it'll kick in and then it'll pump down and shut off. I won't put too much refrigerant in the evaporator. It'll take a long time for it to pump down. 15, 16. Good. But in the back, you know, I want to raise that a little bit. Let's see. Uh, let's try it again. Zero. Good. Perfect. That's nice. This should be all right. Now all I have to do is take it off the frost. The time clock here. And it's on the frost. See the pin is lined up. Pin is lined up over here. It just came off the frost. The solenoid valve just opened up. It's letting the refrigerant go through it. And the pressure is building up and it's gonna kick in around 16. I was kicking in at 20, I lowered it down to 16. I insulated the tank and put the heater on it. 
and we put this control so the heater will shut off if it's above 20 degrees outside. That'll keep this system running pretty healthy. Okay, folks. A little, little cold and windy up here, a little snowy, but hasta la vista.